In this tutorial we are going to learn top 15 AutoCAD commands, these commands will save your lot of time. I have taken example for each command. Try to watch the complete tutorial as every command is important. Let's start the tutorial. The first one is measure command. In this case I want to copy this lighting fixture at every 25 meters. Before copying the object we need to make sure that the object is made as block. We can see here this is a block and I have give name, light, for this block. Type ME press enter. Select path. From here choose block. Enter the block name, light. Press enter. Select yes to align object. Give the length 25 press enter. That's it. We can see how properly it's placed the block at 25 meters. Second command, poly edit. In this case I want joint all the corners which are open. We can do this by fillet command also but poly edit command will do even more quickly. Type PE press enter. Select multiple option. Select all objects. Press enter. From here choose Join option. For the fuzz distance click two points with a drawing area. That's it. Press Escape to finish the command. Third command T count. We can add numbering to text using this command. T count press Enter. Select object. Press Enter. Select Y. Give increment value 1. Select prefix as prefix add numbers before text. And suffix add numbers after text. That's it. Fourth command rectangle with fillet option. In this case I want to make a rectangle with corners having a radius of 10. We can use fillet option in rectangle command. Type REC press enter. Select Fillet option. Give Radius 10. Press Enter. Now pick first corner. Type at 200, 200. Press Enter. That's it. Let's verify by taking Radius. We can see the Radius is matching exactly. Fill Command. This command is very useful to control the visibility of hatches and to improve the performance of AutoCAD. Sometimes in our drawing if there is too many hatch patterns then AutoCAD will perform slowly. To hide hatches temporary we can use fill command. Type fill press enter. Select off. Type regan command to see the changes. To unhide hatch. Type fill press enter. Select on. Again type Regan command to see the changes. That's it. Sixth command copy using array option. In this case I want to copy the riser and thread to make stairs. Type C O enter. Select object. Press enter. Click at first base point. Select array option. As the building height is 300 and riser height is 10 so the number of items will be 30. Type 30 press enter. Select second point. That's it. We can see how easily we copied object using array option. Quick select command. In this case I want to select circles which has green color. When I try to select by select similar option it is selecting all circles. To solve this let's use quick select command. Right click on screen quick select option. Select properties color. Choose value, green. From object type you can choose multiple option if you want other objects to include such as line, polyline, arc etc. But here I want to select only circle. Select objects, option. Select all circles. Press enter. Click OK. We can see only green colored circles are selected. Your can erase now. 
Command 8. Fence option in trim command. In this example I want to trim small edges beyond this line. For this let's use trim command. T or press enter. Select all objects. Press enter. Select fence option. Select boundary line as shown. Press enter. That's it. Next command ch space. This command help objects to move from model to layout quickly. Let's go to layout. When I try to select this object it is not selecting because the text is in model. To bring text in layout. Double click to activate model. Type ch space command. Press enter. Select all text. Press enter. We can see now the text is a layout. Let's go to model we can see, the text is moved from model to layout. 10th command T case. This command helped to convert small letter to capital letters. We can see the written names are lower case. To change. Type T case press enter. Select all text press enter. Select uppercase option. Click on OK. That's it. Style command. This command helps to make new text style. In this case I want to make a new text style and replace the existing standard style. Type ST press enter. Click on new. Give name as required. Click on OK. From here choose text style. Click on apply and close. Select text. Right click and choose option select similar to select all text. From properties change style from standard to my font. That's it. We can see how easily we have changed the text style. Group command. This command helps objects to convert multiple objects to single objects. Let's convert these multiple objects to single object. Type group pres enter. Select name option. Give name furniture. Select all objects. Press enter. All objects are converted to single objects. To ungroup objects. Click on this ungroup option. It is converted into a single object. Rotate command with reference option. In this case I want to rotate this chair as per line angle. Type R O enter. Select chair press enter. Click base point here. Choose reference option. Click reference 1. Click reference 2. And click reference 3 here. That's it. Now let's move this to verify. Scale command with reference option. In this case I want to scale this object base on this. Type SC enter. Select object press enter. Click base point here. Choose reference option. Click reference 1. Click reference 2. And click reference 3 here. That's it. Now let's move this to verify. Array command with path option. When we try to copy this object online we will not get a proper result. We can see here the alignment is not getting correct. To solve this. Type array enter. Select object. Choose path option. Select the path. From here you can adjust the distance between the objects. That's how we can use path array to copy objects easily. So these are top 15 commands which saves your time. That's it from this tutorial, thanks for watching.